Welcome to Medical Therapeutic Yoga with Dr. Ginger Garner. We're going to take a look at the scapular repositioning test, but we're going to do it in two different ways, using a yogic lens. In this test, we're going to look at a clinical screen for scapular dyskinesis. That is the purpose. The process, as I'll show on the model first, is to stabilize the clavicle and reposition the lateral border of the scapula with the same arm to mimic serratus anterior and lower trapezius action on the scapula. So as the patient raises their arm, they can do so without pain or impairment or what's called scapular dyskinesis. While there are many causes which would need to be fully evaluated by a therapist or doctor, you can screen for problems that would help red flag issues to work on. The patient elevates the arm while the clinician performs the scapular repositioning test, holding the lateral border of the scapula while the patient elevates the arm in scaption with the thumb up. The test is positive if the pain is reduced and the movement quality is improved. This is the open kinetic chain version. Second, you can retest in a more functional position using a yoga posture. In this case, we'll reperform the SRT using a downward facing dog prep, so a four point position where the knees are lifted from the floor by one inch while the patient performs arm spiral. From downward facing dog prep, you will follow them and assist them with the SRT into downward facing dog, which is a closed kinetic version of this test. Have the patient repeat the process several times so you can also look for movement degradation, the lack of endurance, and the periscapular muscles could reveal a disintegration of the downward dog prep to downward facing dog movement as the number of repetition, repetitions increase. Again, the test is positive if the pain is reduced and movement quality is improved. This is the scapular repositioning test. Thank you for joining me.